identity technology. I faded it, but now I am definitely not. I'll tell you why. So yesterday, I did a live stream with Simon from Solana ID. The intention was to do 20 to 30 minutes and basically learn about the project. I'd already done a decent amount of research a few months earlier, and this was updating that knowledge. This went for one hour and 20 minutes, and this is the longest I've ever done any live stream or anything where I've been asking a founder things ever. So you can watch this if you like, watch on 2x speed and there's timestamps below. Essentially, I had the wrong idea when it came to identity technology. And now I want to explain why I think it's valuable and how you can actually avail yourself of this technology. So the Twitter account that we're following is at Solana Identity and the actual website is Solana.id. Now, before we start with the actionable and the tutorial on how to actually set up the first stage of your Solana ID, Think of it like this. This is my third cycle in crypto and each cycle more and more people come in. We're now at a stage where sophisticated botters, they don't just bot the actual DAP. As an example, Sanctum, they had 200,000 unique addresses. However, they found, I think they only had around 20,000 actual users. The rest were either bots or a large portion were people that had maybe more than one wallet. More than one wallet is fine, but there's another aspect to this. And the other aspect is the fact that you can socially engineer something by just going to Twitter and liking and commenting and following and trying to push a dApp or some project or some token up in terms of just social engagement by artificially making it look more popular than it actually is. So there are two things that happen here. And of course, the people that bought these, they're the people that win. The same thing happens with meme coins. So how do we solve this? We solve this with identity technology. And when it comes to identity technology on Solana, I think this is the best. So I'm going to show you how you can do the first step to actually get your personal perks passed. So here we are, Solana.id, click get your Solana ID. Now, everything in crypto is about being early. Always be early, use dApps, and this is one of them. So let's go ahead and get started and connect Soulflare and connect. Now we have to sign in with our browser wallet and approve the transaction. Now this is the first stage before Solana ID actually releases the Solana ID. And what the Solana ID basically does is it actually says this is a real person on the blockchain. You can analyze all of their different trades, how long they hold things like NFTs, how long they enter DeFi farming strategies, how many crypto assets they have, that sort of stuff. And that will give you a little bit of a wallet score. And then an individual dApp can choose to reward that person with say a higher APR or a whitelist to an NFT mint, or even allowing access to beta programs before other people, depending on that wallet score. Also with new dApps, they can filter out who are actually bots and who are real people. That way, when you go into an airdrop allocation, you're allocating to say 10,000 people as opposed to 150,000 bots and 10,000 people. So for this first stage, the goal is basically to get us on the list to get this priority pass. And that's gonna give us access to an exclusive airdrop later in the future. And in addition, we can do Zilli tasks in order to get more of a token allocation and we can mint the priority pass before others. With this wallet, I've already minted one. There's over 10,000 people that have actually minted one already. If we scroll on down, you can see first class, business class, premium economy, economy. Your goal is to get into first class. Everybody wants to be flying in first class. So this is where you wanna be if you can get into the top 1,000. If not, definitely try to get into business class. And of course, if you can't get into that, premium economy, and then finally economy. So those people with a wallet score that's not high, you're gonna be down here, unfortunately, and that's just the nature of you being a little bit late, or maybe you don't have a lot of on-chain transactions or a very good healthy score. Let me change wallets and I'm gonna mint it live and we're gonna see what the actual score is. So we'll go again, we'll get started, and we'll connect this wallet here, the farmer. We'll sign in with the browser wallet, we can sign in with a ledger, but I'm just gonna be signing with a hot wallet for this one. Approve, and then we come on down, and what we wanna do is we wanna mint this priority pass. The cost is 0.02 SOL, and then there's a mint fee. It's basically $6 in SOL. I'm gonna click, I trust this transaction, and approve. Now for the sake of transparency, Soulflare didn't show us exactly what was happening, so I checked the on-chain transaction. I've typed in delegate, because we always have to be a little bit mindful of delegations, and this just involves the Metaplex token metadata program of delegation. So in the Solana space, Metaplex is actually trusted, and this delegation, this is fine and normal. Now we come back here, pass.solana.id. You can see my solid score is quite low at 487. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a refresh, and I'm very low on the list, unfortunately, 7,400. Now, in order to get actual boosts, what we can do is we can link our Twitter, email, Discord, SwissBorg, and Fitchin, and this is done with different technology, so let me show you that now. 
I've changed to a different wallet that has a higher score. And here we can go ahead and we can link our Twitter. The first thing we need to install is ZK Pass Transgate extension. So click on this link and I've already installed it, but this is it here. I'm always mindful of what I install. However, this is trusted to me. We can check that out by going to zkpass.org, click got it. And this team raised millions of dollars. We can check out who the backers are just by typing in back backed by leading investors, and they work with the best. So always verify the extension you're adding beforehand. For me, this is completely trusted. They also have 100,000 users and a very high rating out of five. Now we go ahead and we click request your ZK proof. ZK stands for zero knowledge. It's a little bit of a complex topic, but essentially you're putting an input of data and the output verifies that the input is correct, but you can't really see what's happening in the middle there. And this is done as a privacy thing. So as an example, you can use ZK technology in order to link your Twitter. You can see that I've linked it. Solana ID can see that something has been linked to a real person, but no one can go ahead and say, hey, this wallet actually belongs to Seb Montgomery. So down here, we click start, and this is ZK Pass Transgate. Now, the reason why we do this is because we actually move up on the list. And remember, the goal is to get into first or business class. That way, come September, when the Solana ID is actually minting, we get first and second dibs at it. Remember, it always pays to be early. We'll also go with Discord and click verify. Now we'll click start and it'll do its thing again. Now it's very important at this stage that you choose the right wallet. You want an older wallet with lots of activity as your ideal choice. You can't go mint a Solana pass with five different addresses and link them all to your Twitter. You can only link one to your Twitter. You can see on the list, I've improved. We can also go with an email and we can link Swissborg and Fitchin, which is something that's new to me. With email, we get a boost. So I'll put in my email here and then verify. With this, of course, you can add any email like NFT DGEN or DeFi or whatever. It doesn't have to be your name. Go and copy the code, come back, paste it and submit. Now I've reached business class. This is just a tutorial wallet, but hopefully with your real wallet, you'll be higher on the list, ideally in that top 1000. You can see the boost that you get here. So it's worth doing these two as well, as the boost for both of these is higher than all of these boosts. Why do we actually want this priority pass? Like will this priority pass turn into the Solana ID? No, it will not. But the reason why we want it is because we want to be first on the list and we're doing it in a way where we're putting a small amount of capital, like $6 worth of soul. We're taking a bet with the project that we think the project will do well, which I do, not financial advice. And we're trying to outcompete others in order to get into business or first class. Then in September, we'll do a new action where we mint the Solana ID and details on that haven't been released yet. Now, let me be fully transparent with you. A few months ago, I didn't really care for things like identity solutions, but now that I know that they use ZK proofs, they can stop Sybil attackers and they can actually reward real users. This is completely a no brainer. Technology like this, you wanna be early. So go and create your Solana pass today. Got a link below. And remember, go with a wallet that has a lot of transactional history. And if you need more information, check out this live stream. So that's my take. Let me know your thoughts below. I'm very bullish on this. I think this will do well. Of course, nothing is financial advice, but I would definitely suggest as a call to action, actually going and doing this. You're best off being early to everything in my opinion. And this thing actually has product market fit.